questions that float around. What are you doing? Are you going anywhere? Any special plans? Some people don't have anything planned. Others have the same traditions every year. This got me thinking, does my family have any specific traditions that we do? Turns out, yes, we do have our own Taylor family traditions that we do every year. We have some for birthday, Easter, and Christmas. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my family's traditions and one of my friend's traditions with you all today. Let's begin with Christmas. Well, this is more December than Christmas. We have this big Christmas song that we set up all across the living room. There is an ice rink, a church, a lighthouse, and a little shed with baby Jesus. Near the end of December, we take our yearly trip to Palm Desert, California and to capture some warm weather and usually return the night before Christmas. Once we get back, we all gather around the tree after dinner and open one present. It is nice of our parents to let us do this, allowing us to release all our curiosity. After all, they were just sitting under the tree mocking us. <laughs> However, seeing all the rest just sit there makes us want to open them even more. If you would count out being able to sleep the night before Christmas a tradition, then add it to my list. Finally, after a long and sleepless night, it is finally here, Christmas morning. It's pretty normal. We open stockings first and then the rest of our gifts. However, unlike most people, our gifts don't have names on them. They're all wrapped in different designed wrapping paper, and the only way to know which presents are yours is by opening your stocking. Lying inside is this little piece of Christmas wrapping paper, and after uncovering this piece of paper, it, then and only then will you know which presents are yours. Nothing really special happens until around 6 o'clock p.m. when we invite a bunch of friends and family over to help celebrate the holidays with us. Now, that friend I mentioned earlier, well, his name is Eliza. His family has this really cool Christmas tradition that they do. We all know the true meaning of Christmas is the birth, to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, they bake Jesus a birthday cake every year to celebrate his birthday. Another tradition that my family enjoys is a very unique birthday tradition. We have smaller parties for ages 15 and 16. For age 15, you go and get your permit and drive you and your parent home, which is terrifying. For age 16, you go and get your license if you passed your driver's test, and then drive your parent home once again, although this time it's not scary because you know how to drive. <laughs> the real big tradition is for age 13, because that's when you were considered a young man. What we do is we have the person who is turning 13 write down all the things that they wouldn't want to bring into manhood. They would write them down and all the friends and family that we have would be there because this is a big tradition. When it is time, they would read it aloud and my dad, after the reading, would say a couple words before the paper is thrown into the flames. After, he would go around and shake all the adult men's hands as a welcome into manhood anyone over the age of 13. This tradition has great impact on my brothers and I. We talk about it for months ahead of time and can feel the shift and more responsibility put onto our shoulders. But no matter how big the task or burden, we have to remember who had the biggest burden of all, Jesus Christ, who carried his cross, died for us, and rose again. Which brings me to my final tradition I will share. It takes place in the holiday of Easter. This is probably one of my favorite holidays. We start the day with our normal routine, going to church. However, on Easter Sunday, there are a whole bunch of people who go, almost double than usual, so we try and arrive a little early. After church, we would gather friends and family to our house and have brunch, homemade cinnamon rolls, and a big egg hunt with cousins. One egg in particular is golden and is the hardest to find. It contains $5. The uncles and dads who helped hide the eggs just minutes earlier are called back out to help find the remaining few that were lost. Although they can never seem to remember where they placed them. After the hunt, we'd go inside and have a big lunch with our friends and family. The perfect end to a perfect day. 
I feel that sharing about Easter is the perfect way to bring this speech to a close. Traditions are what make holidays truly unique and special. Although if you don't have any, that is okay too. All that means is your holiday will be a different adventure every time. Spending it with the people you love is what is truly special, and whatever traditions you have, or whatever ones you may choose to add as you grow, I would love to hear about them, even if they are small. As long, it will have a lasting impact and effect on you as a person if it's important to you. Thank you. Thank you.